Hi right, guys, welcome back to yet again a very highly requested video which is how to make lookalike audiences on Facebook. So first of all, let me just help you guys identify which lookalike audiences you guys should be using because there are two types of lookalike audiences and you guys should know the difference between them and how to use them in different situations. All right, so let's first of all hop into the ads manager right now. So this is our ads manager. This is a brand new ads manager account which I'm going to scale to the mood after Chinese New Year. So it's completely new, but I have an old pixel which is warm. So I'm gonna really just straight off the bat, a scale to the moon. So first of all, when we're creating lookalike audiences, let's go here to business tools on the left side, click on that and click on audiences. All right. So this will take you to another page where it allows you to create custom audiences, lookalike audiences, all of that good stuff. So as you guys can see, I've already created four custom audiences for the purpose of this video. So um, uh, here it says the availability is already, but just a tip for all of you guys out there, do not start creating your lookalike audiences uh, unless um, the size is determined by Facebook. So as you guys hover over this, it says the audience sizes will be determined in two to three days and it takes Facebook a bit of time to gather the population of those audiences. So I've tested before, if you make lookalikes, um, when this size is still pending, it doesn't perform as well as if the audience sizes were already determined. So maybe it might say like a few thousand or a few hundred, but I don't recommend creating lookalike audiences if you only have a few hundred events. And this applies to purchase as well, because I've tested hundred purchases, which is ideally the minimum event count to make a lookalike audience for the purchase action. But I don't really make purchase lookalike audiences until I get a thousand purchases. And unless my pixel actually really knows, you know, what the ideal audience is. What we want to do first is first of all, create a custom audience. What you do is just click on create audience, create a custom audience and click on, we can either, you know, click on video, you can click on website, depending on what you want your lookalike audience to be. So let's say you have a lot of 50% or 75% or even 95% video views, maybe, maybe above 50,000 of uh, those events. You can click on video and you, you know, you can choose your video. You can choose, First of all, you can choose which one you want. So ideally you want 95% because those will, you know, cover that will encompass more of the engaged people who actually stayed to the end of the video and might create better converting audiences. So i would go for that and, you know, just click on choose videos. i would usually do past uh, maybe 45 days to 60 days and just name your audience like uh, 95% or 95 VV, that's 95% video views for me because I don't wanna be typing this every time because it's, you know, it takes a lot of time for me. I'm lazy, all right, and just click on create audience. And once you've created your audience, it's gonna appear here, right? So what we wanna do now is we wanna click on you know one of them. So for this one, if you guys don't know what this means, this, this means IC means initiate checkout in the past 90 days. This one means view content in the past 90 days. This means add to cart in the past 90 days. And this is all website visitors in the past 90 days. So I'm just gonna click on maybe, you know, a random one here. So initiate checkout in the past 90 days. And what I'm gonna do is click on create a lookalike audience on the top left corner. So we're gonna click on that. And we can, and all we wanna do here is now we wanna click on the source. So we wanna click on our pixel for this source. So we're gonna click on that. As you guys can see, I've had some decent results with this pixel so far. So yeah, most important thing is select the pixel. For most of you out there, you might actually have multiple different pixels when you click on this. So please be careful to choose the right one, okay? If you choose the wrong one, it's gonna, you know, fuck up your entire uh, lookalike audience. So for the audience location, I like to, you know, select worldwide because I don't wanna just create a lookalike audience for the USA. And let's say I was scaling and I wanted to scale in Australia, right? Then that, that means you have to create another lookalike audience again, right, for Australia. And you have to create a sing, every single lookalike audience for every single country, which is gonna take up so much time. Why not just create one lookalike audience for the entire world and then just customize it when you get to the ad set level, right? So here, I'm gonna click on browse, click the drop down menu, which says countries, and just click on this box here. It's gonna select all the countries in the entire world because I've tested if you just type in worldwide here, it doesn't really work. It doesn't like really work as the audience selection in the interest-based targeting. So just uh, click check for all of that. And then for here is where a lot of people struggle. They don't know which percentages to test for lookalike audience. So you can go from zero to 1%, but all the increments of 1% will have the same population size. All right, so it's 28.2 mil. Right, 28.2 mil, if you double that, that's you know 56.4 mil or 56.3, and double that again, right? So uh, ideally, I've tested a lot of different ones. So this is where the two lookalike audiences come into play, right? So you can either 
do zero to one, that's one ad set, zero to two, that's another ad set, zero to three, that's the third ad set, so on and so forth, right? Zero to four, zero to five. But these audiences are much, much broader than if you were to do zero to one, right? And then one to two, and then two to three, right? This you have to create separately. All right, so what's the difference between these two? Like, what's the difference between zero to one, zero to two, zero to three, zero to four, com compared to zero to one, one to two, two to three? All right, so the main difference is it allows you to differentiate and identify in which percentage are most of your sales coming in, right? So let's say you had a, um, a zero to three, right? Zero to three lookalike audience for a specific campaign, all right? And you're testing that and you're testing that versus a two to three percent, okay? If the two to three percent is getting five sales and the zero to three percent is getting five sales, you know that the two to three percent is getting five sales, but you don't know in which percentile is getting the most sales for the zero to three one, if that makes sense, right? So it's a bit like uh, zero to three is a lot broader and it's harder to identify where the sales are coming in from. But if you're just doing a two to three percent look like audience, then you know that the sales are coming from the two to three percent audience. And for a quick definition for these percentages, what lookalike audiences are, are basically from zero to 1% is basically the most, um, it's Facebook is going to find the audiences and customers who are most like your current customer. So for my initiate checkout, it's gonna find the 1% of population in your population pool that is most likely to initiate checkout in the past 90 days, all right? I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does. Zero to 2%, so it's a 2% of the population inside your population pool in this specific location, which are most like your audiences who, who initiated checkout in the past 90 days, all right? So as you go to zero to 10%, it's gonna, get, it's gonna get less accurate, but it doesn't mean it's gonna be less profitable, all right? I have had zero to 10%, which have been way more profitable than zero to 1%. It's actually very different from store to store because it depends on how Facebook will gather the data and actually make lookalike audiences for your store and based on your pixel data, all right? So the main difference and the main key, if you guys, didn't pay attention at all in, in this video and it was just really boring for you, just know this one thing, okay? So zero to 1%, one to 2%, two to 3%, those lookalike audiences will allow you to identify where your sales are coming from, all right? So is it the one to two percentile? Is it a two to three percentile? If it's coming from the two to three percentile, scale the fuck out of the two to three percentile one, right? But if it's to zero to three percentile, yes, you'll have more of an audience and you have more audience to work with, but you won't be able to identify which uh, percentile it's coming from. Yes, you can always scale the zero to 3% uh, a lot of times, but it's gonna have more inconsistencies compared to the two to three percentile one. So I hope this video actually made some sense. Um, if it didn't, I'm really sorry, but uh, this is how I make my uh, lookalike audiences. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something in this video. If you guys learned something, please drop a like, comment, and even subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. See you guys in the next video.